Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Ace, the wolf that goes roar. That's a bit of a dramatic intro, but how is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing another request, a loadout request video. And this is a very interesting one because this is the first one that I see that actually has optional rules to it and such. So it's going to be interesting as I try to do some crit fishings. There you go, first fish kill of the video because that's the loadout, that's the premise of the loadout, getting fish kills because I have to ha have to use the soda popper to get the crits. The rule actually, uh, you have been, you guys actually have been adding rules and optional requests of the loadout and it, on this loadout it said um, you're not allowed to shoot with the soda popper, only allowed it to get mini crits for your fish. The um, I had the option of getting Mad Milk or Bonk Atomic Punch for my secondary and the fish was the only tool that I was able to get kills with. So very interesting, I'm just mo moving around because I'm actually trying to get everything sorted. This loadout was requested by Cactus Stone, also a regular on my livestream, sir, if you are hearing this. I hope this video will do you well. And also everybody on my YouTube channel, you guys have been very, very nice by commenting and upvoting and... You guys have been very creative. I am really digging that. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. As I get my second fish kill. Doing well here on King of the Hill King. Going strong. Gonna get another kill. Or another fish hit in. Nope. Looks like I have to back off and start building up some more mini crits. Now the thing is with the soda popper. You can actually build mini crits uh, up to the edge. And then save it. And then when your time is ready you can go for it. So I'm gonna build it up until the edge. Gonna switch to my fish. And then when I see an enemy approaching, I will go for it. Alright, let's see. We're, looks like we're under clear here. Alright. So far, so good. Nobody behind enemy lines. Maybe I can flank them with the fish. Maybe that's very well possible. Let's see if I can actually... Oh! There we go. Oh! Got four hits, three or four hits in there, but as you can see, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I was hoping that I was able to uh, jump around it, but I got stuck there. It is a heavy on the stair gaze. What do you expect? It was a bit of a stupid move right there. Nonetheless, we still hold the points. I'm kind of okay with that. And I've already got some few, uh, a few fish kills. So, oh, that's the heavy again. I'm just going to back up. I would really like the soda popper right here. All right. I'm going to go for it. Here we go. Oh. Oh. I didn't get it though! He did die, but I didn't get the kill. I'm gonna walk back and actually grab some um, help. Oh, there is some serious rocket action right in my face. I'm gonna go to the mid here because there should be a medium health pack which will bring me up to full health. Oh, that's a pyro. I'm gonna go back up to the high ground. Let's see what we have here. I'm gonna drink my atomic punch. I can casually keep on walking. As you can see, you can actually switch with the fast weapon switch on your mid mouse wheel. If you will, and actually start building up already the uh, the charge of your mini crits while you're invulnerable. If you did not know that, all right. Oh wait, switch the fish. Wait for it until the right moment arises. Like for example, oh, nope. I got the mini crits though. Oh, got the medic. Got the medic. The spy. Will he chase? Will he give chase? Will he give chase? Yes, he does. Come on. Where is he? Did I? I killed him! Did I kill him? I don't even know anymore. Switch to- Oh god, now there's fire behind me. Medium health pack. I will hug you like you are a loved one that is in need of a cuddle. There you go. Come to daddy. Mini crits almost fell up. Switching to- Oh, nope, not switching. Keeping it, keeping it, critting it, critting it. There you go. There's the crit of the fish. Pyro going down as well. This is a wonderful experience for me as a living creature of the night. And this pyro is probably gonna kill me. Nope, I killed the pyro. The fish is too strong. Can I get, can I get the, no, nope. no, drink, drink, drink. Oh, I drink too slow. I'm partially Irish and I feel embarrassed by this very fact. I should have just kept drinking, guys. I should have kept drinking. Wonderful, wonderful. This loadout is definitely a wonderful thing. I'm not gonna complain about that for one tiny bit. This was a bit of a short round though. Let's add another to it. I think that's, uh, I think you guys deserve another round like this. I have no problem with that. All right, moving up though. Building those mini crits here. And I probably should not go to this particular side. I'm just going to drink the atomic punch because I went through the middle. And I'm just going to directly go across the side. All right, switching my weaponry. All right, I missed the switch right there with the missile mouse button. Um, because as you can see, I already started using the crits. Oh, nope, 
The crit just ran out and there was also a back burner pyro. So not starting off this particular round all that amazing. Uh, wrong button right there as well. That's okay though. We just have to re... We have to refine ourselves, re-evaluate the situation, and just try to not suck overall. Oh, and as I say that, there's potential threats coming in. There's the pyro! Oh, not again, not again! Ah, oh, not again! Uh, it's another pyro this time with the flame. I was trying to turn around, but there were two people right there, and I kind of got confused about my target. So, getting into nasty situations right there, I should just... You know, we stick to the left side. I think the left side right there is probably the best side to flank with my current loadout. Because not a lot of people approach this side or the middle through this particular side. Alright, switching to the fish so that I don't use my crits already. Alright, moving it up. See if I can actually hit somebody. Alright, nobody apparently is here. That's unfortunate. I, I, I wanted to surprise somebody. So I anticipated movement right there. Didn't see any movement. And as you can see, that actually turned off negatively because I wasted my crits right there. This is okay though. I'm just gonna rebuild them. See the scout there. If, does he decide to go for here? Not sure what he's doing. He's a uh, civilian scout. That's okay though. We have the point. We just have to defend it. I'm just gonna go through the same site. And all right, I do see some red people up there. So I'm gonna get the crits sorted. Actually gonna get behind the enemy wall right here. Oh, the, the sniper is already down. I anticipated I could actually get that sniper. Just gonna go back through the same site. Maybe I can get some hits there. Heavy's not seeing me that. Alright, I'm just gonna go around. And as I see that, I actually get walked into the scout. Who I kill with four health! How is this a thing? How is this a thing? And before I die, I still actually get a hit there on the heavy with the fish. I am taking that as a win. Unfortunately, though, we see the problem at hand. I'm getting team switched. They finally understand the power of the fish. And... As you can see, we might actually have some issues right here. Alright, that's the soldier I have to get out. They have a level 3 sentry right there as well. Which means that right now the entire mid area is currently uh, unprecedented for me to approach. Which means right now my loadout is going to have a very bad time. Can't run through the middle with this particular loadout. And since I can't fight from a distance, because the rule of this particular loadout is that I should keep it uh, only to the fish. And use the mini crits only... For the purpose. Oh, there's something behind me, definitely. Wh where are you at? Wait, there was something behind me. Wh where did that soldier go? Am I just losing it right now? I'm probably losing it right now. That's okay, I'm just gonna go around. Alright, there you go. Gonna get in that blue area. Just gonna move about a little bit. Moving left to right. Building up them crits. Hopefully effectively. Gonna keep an eye on both the spawn and the staircase. As I build the crits. Alright, crits are almost done. See if I can get behind enemy lines. Right, there is a sap going. Can I... See anyone here? Nope. Nobody in blue is really dying by the looks of it. So I'm just gonna hit the teleporter right here with the fish. There you go. Nicely done. Gonna move up the crits again. At least I killed the teleporter, so my usefulness actually extends... Oh, hello! Hello, spy! I want to kill you! Because even if you DR, I can actually see if I kill you. And there you go, got my first fish kill there on the blue team after my team switch. That's okay, is the tele... No, the sentry is still alive. So I can't do much of anything against that. Uh, besides drinking up, of course. And actually get to a position where I can hopefully capture it. Nope, it's completely defended. No, wait, is there a blind spot right here? This might be a blind spot. Nope, that, that, there's a very small spot right there. But I constantly get bounced away from that. So that's unfortunate. That sentry right there is pretty much the bane of my existence. We can't win this particular round. That's okay though. That's okay. I'm just going to get another fish kill hopefully in time. Nope. There's a soldier that suddenly surprises me. And as you can see, there's a severe disadvantage of this loadout. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. When, uh, remember guys, I will only take requests and such under the, that are appearing in the comment section below this video as suggestions for my next video you can comment as much as you want just be kind and upvote loadouts that you see that you find enjoyable as well that's it that's all i will catch you guys next time and take care